All right, so I'm going to try another test here with this uh, 2 watt or 2,000 milliwatt range booster on the same setup here as before the upgraded SPI antenna on um, this uh, Tadpole. I'll uh, link the previous video. You can see the results before, how far I got, and the RSSI in that video. And you can compare it to uh, this video and see if there's any improvements. So this is just going to be attached to my x -Lite radio and we're going to boost up the signal. Alright, so let's see what the RSSI numbers look like. Um, they don't look that much better, even though I'm boosted up to 2 watts. I uh, have a better antenna on the video transmitter now. I'm still getting uh, lines in the video, interestingly. And the last time I got to about here, and I had numbers, I think, in the 50s. So numbers are definitely better now. 75, no uh, telemetry lost warnings or anything like that. Now I'm in the 60s. So we turn around with the antenna pointed uh, at me, the numbers are a little bit better. Now I'm going to go a little bit closer to the ground. We'll see if the, the RSSI numbers are worse. They're kind of bouncing around the 70s. My video is not so great right now. A lot of interference. No telemetry lost warnings. I'm definitely further than before. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what this distance is. I'll put it up on the screen. But it's kind of bouncing around the 60s to 70s here. I'm thinking this is probably like about 750 meters. And my video is terrible. Not sure what's up with that. No telemetry lost warnings at all at that, dist at that distance. So, a little bit better with the, uh, the booster. But uh, I don't like the fact that my video is not so great. This, I think there's some kind of interference here because um, when I flew this the other day at another location, I wasn't getting any lines in the video, so there, there has to be some sort of interference here. But it's kind of nice that with all the, this extra equipment and the mods and everything, I am, at least for control, I can fly pretty much anywhere around here, no problem. Yeah, you can see the RSS numbers are pretty good. I'm thinking there's some sort of like really strong Wi-Fi in these buildings uh, at this location. And I'm pretty sure with the standard setup, no booster, stock uh, SPI antenna, you're probably not going to be able to fly like this in this location. Anyway, I think it's a good uh, little test. Um, this booster is um, not available from Banggood uh, to ship in the United States, so you'll have to get it uh, from Amazon, I think. So I'll, put, I'll link those down in the description. Anyway, gotta land.